In this lecture, we are going to focus on properties of pure substances. So we are going to start the lecture by distinguishing pure substances and mixtures. Then we are going to discuss about the phase change processes and we are going to illustrate phase change processes on PE TV and PT diagrams. This diagram becomes really important when it comes to discussing tables of property data. Uh, I pay special attention to discussing about tables of property data because we are going to use it extensively throughout the entire course. If you cannot read the property data tables, you are not going to survive this course. So uh, make sure that you are going to understand how to read property tables. And uh, towards the end of the lecture, we are going to distinguish uh, ideal gases and real gases and what is the difference between them, how to calculate for that difference. First, let's distinguish pure substances and mixtures. A pure substance by definition is a substance that has a fixed chemical composition throughout. So if you have a volume of nitrogen gas, uh, we can consider it as a pure substance because it's gas all throughout. But let's say that we have a mixture of liquid water and water vapor. For an example, when you are boiling water in your kettle, you have liquid water and uh, steam. That is considered as a mixture. On the other hand, when you have a volume of air, yeah, obviously have at least two different gases oxygen and nitrogen in there if you consider a volume of air for the purposes of this lecture we consider that air as a pure substance the reason is there is no phase change in this uh, volume of air in normal temperatures and pressures almost every substance does have three phases solid liquid and gases when you are transitioning from one phase to the other phase, we call it as a phase change operation. In the next slide, let's consider a phase change operation from liquid to gas. 